China's drone capabilities have been rapidly advancing in recent years, and their development and deployment in military exercises have been a surprising factor compared to traditional fighter jets. One notable example is the Wing Long 2, a Chinese-made drone that has been used in military exercises and has been compared to the US's Predator drone. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The Wing Long 2 has been deployed in several countries, including Pakistan, Egypt, and Algeria, and has been used for reconnaissance, surveillance, and strike missions. Additionally, China has been developing other advanced drones, such as the Sharp Sword and the Dark Sword, which are believed to have stealth capabilities. These drones have been tested in military exercises and are expected to play a significant role in China's future military operations. China's military strategy has been evolving in recent years, with a focus on modernizing its armed forces and developing advanced technologies to maintain a competitive edge in regional and global conflicts. One crucial area of interest in modern warfare is the competition between swarm drones and traditional fighter jets. Swarm drones refer to groups of small, autonomous drones that can operate together, communicating and adapting to changing situations on their own. This concept has gained significant attention due to its potential to revolutionize military tactics and operations. The competition between swarm drones and fighter jets is of great importance for several reasons. Firstly, swarm drones offer a cost-effective and low-risk alternative to deploying human pilots in dangerous situations. They can be used for reconnaissance, surveillance, and strike missions, reducing the risk of human casualties. Secondly, swarm drones can operate in large numbers, overwhelming enemy defenses and providing a significant advantage in terms of firepower and persistence. Thirdly, swarm drones can be designed to be highly maneuverable and difficult to detect, making them a formidable opponent for traditional fighter jets. On the other hand, traditional fighter jets still hold their advantages. They are typically faster, more agile, and carry more firepower than drones. They also have the advantage of being piloted by highly trained human operators who can make split-second decisions and adapt to rapidly changing situations. The competition between swarm drones and fighter jets is a crucial area of interest in modern warfare because it represents a shift in the way military operations are conducted. As technology continues to advance, the balance between these two types of assets will continue to shift, and militaries that can effectively integrate both will have a significant advantage in future conflicts. China's rapid development and deployment of advanced drones, combined with its ongoing investment in traditional fighter jets, demonstrates its recognition of this competition and its commitment to maintaining a competitive edge in modern warfare. The rise of drone technology has presented traditional military powers with several challenges in adapting their strategies and maintaining air superiority. Here are some of the key challenges and implications. 1. Speed of innovation. Drone technology is advancing rapidly, with smaller, more autonomous, and stealthier drones being developed. Traditional military powers must keep up with this pace of innovation to counter new drone threats effectively. 2. Counter UAS solutions. Developing and deploying effective counter UAS systems is a significant challenge. Traditional air defense systems are often not optimized for dealing with small, low-altitude drones, requiring the development of new systems that can detect, track, and neutralize drones at various altitudes and speeds. 3. Integration of human pilots. As drones become more advanced, the role of human pilots in traditional fighter jets becomes increasingly complex. There is a need for seamless human-machine teaming, where pilots and drones work together, sharing information and capabilities in real time. 4. Command and Control. Managing large numbers of drones requires advanced command and control systems that can handle the increased data load and ensure effective communication between drones and their operators. This also involves developing algorithms for autonomous decision-making within the swarm. 5. Ethical and Legal Considerations. The use of drones raises ethical questions, particularly regarding the use of lethal force and the potential for autonomous systems to make life and death decisions without human intervention. Additionally, international law and norms are still evolving in response to drone warfare. 
6. Defense against swarm attacks. Swarm drone tactics, where many small drones are used to overwhelm defenses, pose a significant challenge. Traditional military powers must develop strategies to counter such attacks, which could involve electronic warfare, direct engagement, or decoys. 7. Training and Education There is a need for new training programs to prepare military personnel for the operation and defense against drones. This includes not only technical skills but also understanding the tactics and strategies associated with drone warfare. 8. Resource Allocation Shifting resources from traditional fighter jets to drone programs requires careful planning and prioritization. This includes balancing the development of drone capabilities with the maintenance of traditional air power. Implications for Air Superiority and Defense Strategies 1. Redefinition of Air Superiority Air superiority now includes dominance in both traditional airspace and the electromagnetic spectrum as drones can be used for electronic warfare and communications jamming. 2. Multi-domain operations. The defense against drones necessitates a multi-domain approach, integrating capabilities from air, land, sea, space, and cyber domains to create a comprehensive defense strategy. 3. Increased emphasis on autonomy. The development of autonomous systems will be a key aspect of future defense strategies, enabling faster response times and more efficient operations. 4. Cybersecurity. As drones become more reliant on network systems, cybersecurity becomes critical to prevent unauthorized access or control of drones. 5. International Collaboration. The global nature of drone proliferation requires international cooperation to manage the risks associated with drone technology, including arms control agreements and norms for drone use in warfare. Swarm drones and modern fighter jets serve distinct roles in modern warfare, each with its own set of advantages and limitations. Understanding the features of swarm drones and comparing them to the capabilities of modern fighter jets can provide insight into their respective roles. Swarm drones' features and advantages 1. Numbers and coordination. Swarm drones operate in large numbers, leveraging advanced algorithms and communication systems to coordinate their actions. This coordination allows them to perform complex tasks, overwhelm defenses, and adapt to changing environments. 2. Cost Effectiveness Drones are generally less expensive to produce and operate than modern fighter jets. This cost effectiveness allows militaries to deploy large numbers of drones, making them a more economical option for certain missions. 3. Lethality and Precision While individual swarm drones may have limited firepower, their coordinated actions can be highly lethal against specific targets. They can be equipped with precision-guided munitions, allowing them to strike with high accuracy. 4. Surveillance and Reconnaissance Swarm drones can provide real-time intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, capabilities, offering a persistent presence over the battlefield. Their small size and stealth capabilities can enable them to operate undetected in enemy airspace. 5. Autonomy. Swarm drones can operate with varying degrees of autonomy, reducing the need for human operators and enabling them to perform tasks for extended periods without fatigue. Modern Fighter Jets Capabilities 1. Speed and Agility. Modern fighter jets are incredibly fast and agile, capable of performing high-G maneuvers and reaching supersonic speeds. This agility allows them to evade missile threats and engage in dogfighting with enemy aircraft. 2. Firepower. Fighter jets are equipped with a wide array of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. They have the capability to engage targets at long ranges and deliver devastating strikes against both air and ground targets. 3. Sensor fusion and situational awareness. Modern fighter jets are equipped with advanced sensor systems that provide pilots with a comprehensive view of the battlefield. This includes radar, electronic warfare capabilities, and advanced displays that fuse data from multiple sources. 4. Human adaptability. Pilots are highly trained and capable of making complex decisions in dynamic combat situations. The human-in-the-loop element allows for the use of judgment and creativity in combat, which can be critical in unpredictable scenarios. 5. Global Reach 
Fighter jets have the range to project power globally, allowing them to engage in operations far from home bases. This global reach is essential for power projection and rapid response to international crises. Roles in Warfare Swarm drones are particularly effective in scenarios that require saturation attacks, target destruction, and reconnaissance missions where risk to human pilots is high. They can be used for targeted assassinations, disabling enemy air defenses, or rapid strikes against critical infrastructure. Fighter jets are essential for air superiority, serving as the primary platform for air-to-air -air combat and the protection of friendly assets in the air and on the ground. They also play a crucial role in strategic bombing, deep strike missions, and the suppression of enemy air defenses. One notable example of swarm drones being effectively utilized against fighter jets, highlighting the potential shift in combat dynamics, is the simulated exercise conducted by the United States Air Force USAF, in 2021. This exercise, part of the Red Flag series, specifically targeted scenarios where unmanned aircraft systems UAS, including swarm drones, were pitted against traditional fighter jets. During this exercise, the USAF demonstrated how swarm drones could challenge and potentially outmaneuver advanced fighter jets in certain combat scenarios. The simulation involved a large number of small, autonomous drones operating in a coordinated swarm against a smaller number of piloted fighter jets. The drones were designed to mimic the capabilities of existing or near-future drone technologies, focusing on their ability to communicate, coordinate, and execute complex maneuvers autonomously. Key highlights of this exercise that showcase the potential shift in combat dynamics include 1. Saturation attacks. The swarm drones demonstrated the ability to overwhelm the fighter jets with a barrage of attacks from multiple directions, challenging the pilot's situational awareness and response capabilities. This tactic highlighted the difficulty of defending against numerous, dispersed threats simultaneously. 2. Electronic Warfare the drones also simulated electronic warfare capabilities, potentially disrupting the communication and sensor systems of the fighter jets. This aspect emphasized the vulnerability of piloted aircraft to electronic countermeasures from swarm systems. 3. Stealth and Lethality The exercise considered scenarios where the swarm drones were equipped with advanced stealth features, making them difficult to detect. This component illustrated the lethality of swarm drones when they can approach enemy assets undetected and coordinate precise strikes. 4. Autonomy and Adaptability The drones were programmed to adapt to changing scenarios and dynamically adjust their tactics based on the situation. This autonomy allowed the swarm to quickly respond to the maneuvers of the fighter jets, making them a formidable opponent in a dynamic combat environment. 5. Operational Flexibility the exercise showcased the operational flexibility of swarm drones, as they could be deployed for various missions, including reconnaissance, surveillance, and direct engagement, thereby demonstrating their versatility against a wide range of threats. While this was a simulated exercise, it provided valuable insights into the potential future of air combat, where swarm drones could significantly alter traditional tactics and strategies. The USAF's experiment underscored the need for further development and integration of counter-UAS, CUAS, systems and tactics within modern military forces to effectively counter such swarm drone threats. This exercise is a clear indication of how the military is beginning to understand and adapt to the changing dynamics of warfare, where the advantages of numbers, autonomy, and coordination offered by swarm drones could challenge the dominance of piloted fighter jets in certain aspects of modern combat. The key points discussed highlight the ongoing evolution of military strategy in China, particularly in the adoption and development of swarm drone tactics. These tactics represent a significant shift in combat dynamics, potentially challenging the traditional dominance of piloted fighter jets in modern warfare. While specific incidents or exercises detailing the effective use of swarm drones against fighter jets in a Chinese context have not been widely reported, the following aspects are noteworthy. One. Chinese military interest in swarm drones. The People's Liberation Army PLA, of China has been actively developing and showcasing its drone capabilities, including swarm tactics, through various exercises and public demonstrations. This indicates a strategic interest in integrating unmanned systems into its military operations. 2. 
Integration with traditional forces, the PLA has been observed conducting exercises that involve the deployment of drones alongside traditional fighter jets, testing the integration of unmanned and manned aircraft in joint operations. 3. Naval and Electronic Warfare Capabilities The Chinese Navy has demonstrated its capability to deploy large numbers of drones, and the country is investing in cyber and electronic warfare capabilities, including the use of drones for information operations. These capabilities are crucial for modern combat dynamics. 4. Strategic Asset and Operational Secrecy The development and deployment of swarm drone tactics are strategic assets that are closely guarded. The potential for such tactics to challenge traditional combat dynamics is well understood, but specific operational details remain classified. The potential impact on global security is significant. The adoption of swarm drone tactics by China could lead to a paradigm shift in military strategy, forcing other nations to adapt their defenses and develop counter UAS systems. This could escalate an arms race in unmanned systems, with implications for international relations, military alliances, and the balance of power. The ability of swarm drones to challenge air superiority and conduct operations with a lower risk to human pilots could also influence the nature of future conflicts, potentially leading to more dynamic and unpredictable warfare scenarios. As such, the evolution of military strategy in China, particularly in the realm of swarm drones, is a matter of global security interest and concern. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military technology advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.